Just minutes from now, the SpaceX Dragon capsule with the world's first all-civilian four-member crew will splash down in the Atlantic Ocean off the Florida coast. Candace Gibson is in Port Canaveral. Candace, this adventure has been groundbreaking in so many ways. It really has been, Jose, and I'll tell you, the excitement is building right here along the Space Coast. In just a matter of minutes, the space capsule Dragon will touch down in the Atlantic Ocean, bringing to an end this epic journey. Tonight, the return to Earth, the first all-civilian space crew to orbit the Earth, wrapping their history-making three-day mission. We're giving all of our time right now to science research and some ukulele playing um, and uh, trying to raise some good awareness for an important cause for us back on Earth. The inspiration for billionaire Jared Isaacman, who's bankrolling the trip, bone cancer survivor Haley Arsenault, Cyan Proctor, the first black woman to pilot a spacecraft, and Chris Zembrowski, who won his ticket through a sweepstakes. Their last hours in space spent taking in the views, snapping photos in the specially designed capsule dome, even chatting with Bono. They blasted off from Cape Canaveral Wednesday evening on a SpaceX rocket. Their capsule, the Dragon measuring 13 feet wide, their home as they whizzed around Earth at 17,000 miles an hour. It's been really interesting to see how fluid shifts with this microgravity environment. The mission part science to determine the effects of space on the human body and part charity. More than $150 million raised for St. Jude's Children's Hospital, where Arsenault works. Patients there are getting a rare treat Thursday. The cows on the moon. I, I hope there will be one day. <laughs> Their trip highlighting a new era in space travel and opening the new frontier to anyone with big dreams. And Ken, as a splashdown is less than 10 minutes from now, what happens then? Well, there's a SpaceX recovery vessel that's already out there in the Atlantic Ocean. It'll pick them up, bring them right through here in Port Canaveral. Jose. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.